It has been a big week for sports all over the world. Yesterday we spoke about Lewis Hamilton and his record equaling Eiffel Grand Prix. Today we are going to talk about two other athletes who scripted their own pieces of history at the 2020 French Open. Now, both the winners of the men's and the women's singles final created their own little piece of history and their own set of records. So, we'll be looking at both these athletes and what they have managed to achieve at the 2020 French Open one by one. Let's start off with the women's singles final. It was Iga Swiatek versus Sofia Kennan in the 2020 French Open final. Now, Sofia Kennan is someone who had won the Australian Open at the start of the year. So, she had started the year with a bank coming into the final of this uh, French Open 2020. She had brushed past each and every one of her opponents with utmost ease and was in stupendous form. And facing off against her was 19-year-old Iga Swiatek. Now, she's just 19 years old and this was her first Grand Slam final appearance in her career. And boy, did she make it count. She swept past Sofia Kennan defeated her in straight sets and won her first Grand Slam title. With that, she became the first Polish player in the history of the sport to win a singles Grand Slam title. And at the age of 19 years old, she is the youngest to win the French Open since the year 1992. This is a remarkable set of achievements that Iga has managed to achieve in the final of the French Open 2020. Now coming into the tournament she was ranked 54 in the world rankings which in fact is the lowest for any athlete to be ranked who has gone on to win a French Open title in the history of the tournament. So that again is a very big achievement for a young tennis player who has just started to pick her game up in the sport. Now, she will be looking to build on this, no doubt about it. Now she's ranked in, uh, in the world rankings. She is at the number 17 spot. So she will be looking to build on this and not just rest on her laurels of winning the French Open 2020. And we all can say without a doubt that there is a lot to come from her. She's just 19, so she has a lot of tennis coming up in her career and she will be looking to build on this, no doubt about it. She truly is the next gen of the women's singles event. Moving on from the women's singles event to the men's singles final event and a blockbuster of a final matchup between Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. Now, coming into this tournament, everyone had touted that this would in fact be the final of this year's French Open. And yes, it turned out to be the exact same way. It was the Spaniard versus Novak Djokovic. Everyone touted it to be one of the most competitive matchups that people have seen. Of course, there was no Federer in it, but you take what you get, right? But the people and the fans were disappointed to see that it wasn't as competitive as they would have liked it to be. In fact, Rafael Nadal won this match in straight sets, not even giving an inch to Novak Djokovic in the third set. We did think that he might just be coming back, but it wasn't to be. With this victory, Rafael Nadal has now won 13 French Open Grand Slam titles and now in his career has 20 Grand Slam titles which puts him at par in terms of numbers with the great Roger Federer. Federer. Both these legends of the game, Swiss maestro and the king of clay as he's popularly known as Rafael Nadal. Now both of them have 20 titles each. Now talking about uh, this match between Novak and Rafa. Novak did say after the match that Rafa is truly the king of clay and he accepted the fact that the Spaniard gave him no inch to come back into this game after he made a blistering start to the game. Now, in terms of numbers, 
Novak and uh, between Novak and Rafa, the overall head to head, Novak does lead in that category. But coming into this final, the head to head record in the Grand Slam finals between Novak and Rafa was locked at four apiece. Now, Rafa finally leads that head to head tally with five wins to four with Novak Djokovic. In terms of the all time list, Federer and Nadal both are at 20 Grand Slam. Uh, titles each with Novak at 17 titles. So, my biggest question right now is which of these three would end their career as the tennis player with the most number of Grand Slam titles, which is going to be a riveting watch for each and every tennis fan as we see these the big three who are supposedly in the twi twilight of their careers go at it again, hopefully for a number of years to come. In the future, that's it from the world of tennis for today. Uh, it was a very exciting French Open and we hope to see more and more tennis action like this coming soon. Tomorrow we'll be looking at another piece of history created in the sport of basketball. That's it for today. Keep watching, stay tuned for more.